welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Arkansas tees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Tackled right around the 22 yard line. That's a game of two on the ball. That makes it second and eight. From their own 22 yard line. Second down. Got a man complete. He's hit hard. He managed to get enough there to move the chains. Yep, that's a great effort there by the running back to be able to get the ball upfield and pick up another valuable first down. From their own 34-yard line, first down. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice game for the offense. Good tackle there in space. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. So what do you think of this receiver after that play? The quarterback made a nice throw, but it was the receiver who made this happen. That's a great way to make a statement. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. the toss left and he's level at the eight yard line pick up of a yard for the tailback that brings in second and goal here's the eighth play of the series Coach is going to have to be happy with that one. The defender was in the right position to make the play. The defense has really held their own the last two plays. Now it's third and goal from the seven. Under pressure. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. play ever developed nicely well it's all about the receiver on this play he beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route all he had to do after that was make the catch he splits the uprights with the extra point a nine play 80 yard drive and they add seven points to the scoreboard brad i thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive i thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense so the score now seven nothing the kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Razorbacks have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week in, as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. That brings up second Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Off and not much room there as they try to work the left side. There's a strike complete. Brought down right around the 48 yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. <laughs> Caught over the middle. Tackle made around the 33-yard line. Great job by the quarterback. He had a slant called against zone coverage and threw it at the perfect time. From the 33-yard line, first down. Go four. He's at the 20. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle at about the 15-yard line. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 15-yard line. Zips it to the tight end. He's tackled at the six-yard line. That brings up second and one. Two times, two times. Three down, three down. Down he goes, around the five-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. A yard, maybe two on the carry. That brings him second and goal. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the three-yard line. Hands it to the back. And they hit him in the backfield. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Arkansas ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. 
We played one quarter. Alabama leads it 7 3. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Alabama is up by four. Here's a throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. It's third down, eight to go. Ball on the 27. From their own 45 yard line. First down. Run right side. And they make the stop at the 48. Taken down. First and ten. Ball on the thirty four. taken down immediately. That makes it six. 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 Alabama is up four. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That makes it And this play is number eight on the drive. game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. Here's the halfback on the screen. Touchdown, Alabama! Decided to go to the running back on that touchdown pass. Just a nice job by the quarterback of showing great patience here, going through his progressions, finally finding the back to get into the end zone. And he converts the extra point. like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He's going to go for the home run. Got it to the senior. He's pushed out of bounds at the 24-yard line. Big game there for the first down. There was some miscommunication down there by the defense that allowed for that big game. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. It's the tailback. He's taken down at the 23-yard line. Second and nine. 
And he can't get away from the pressure. That's a loss of six yards. That makes it third and 15. Third and 15 coming up. Ball on the 29-yard line. He's under pressure. That's a great tackle at the six. This quarterback definitely has some confidence in his arm, Kirk. It sure looks that way. That was well covered by the defense, and he still got it in there. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. We've got second and goal. Ball on the six. He's wrapped up for the sack. That's a loss of six on the play. That makes it third and goal. breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. This isn't much more than an extra point. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. Kicks up and it splits the uprights. Arkansas gets set to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Alabama up by eight. Quick throw, and he's taken down around the 30-yard line. I like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up. And that's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. Quick pass. That last pass got him only a yard. Once the wide receiver made the catch, he just kind of ran out of real estate. There was nowhere for him to go. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. The ball is loose. It's scooped up, and he's tackled at about the 25-yard line. The Razorbacks call a timeout. That's their second of the half. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. He makes it to the 42-yard line. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offensive coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, in the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. He throws. Brought down in the open field. Open field. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Kill, kill. That makes it first and goal. Kill, kill, kill. Three. He's going to try and scramble. And they got it. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Just 
throws this one away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. So they decide to bring the kicker out to try to get three points before the half ends. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. I have a feeling this ball is going nowhere near the return man with this kickoff most likely to end the half this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback in a game that's this close you can't afford to waste possessions they try running left and he shoved out of bounds at the 31-yard line. That's the end of the half, and believe it or not, folks, it's still anyone's ballgame. 14-9, Alabama. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Defense has been in total control in the first half, and you'd think maybe the offense's confidence was shaken. But if you want to look at the entire team picture, David, how big a deal is it for an offense to know, look, if we can just put together one, maybe two good scoring drives, our defense has got our back. Well, a lot of times when you know you have a defense, it's great, too, is you build your offense around it. And when I say that, why do I need to take chances? You know, if it's third and long, I don't mind throwing a five-yard pass, and if I break a tackle, I get a first down. I mean, don't put my defense that's dominant, that's great, in a bad position, and, and you can afford to be more conservative. You see it every single year. What do we always talk about here at ESPN? We talk about you, you defense wins championships, and that's how you win ball games, and you see it consistently unfold. So if I'm building an offense, let's just not put my great dominant defense in a bad position. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense, as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 25. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. Once and all, going deep. No, incomplete. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. From their own 37-yard line. Second down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48. Brought down at the 46. That makes it second and eight. Here 
They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. And this is the eighth play of the drive. this defense is. Great play by the linebacker to come up with the ball after the fumble. They're ready to begin another drive. Down about at the 33 from the 33 yard line. Second down. Rifles this one out to the left. Number seven was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Makes the catch and look out. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Quick, he's got another one. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. And he hits the PAT. is lining up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackle at the 28. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. There he goes. He's to the 40. And he's leveled at the 48-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 48. Now he tries to buy some time. They'll make the sack. That'll bring up second and 15. From their own 42 yard line. It's second down. Here's a quick throw. Big catch there as they knock him out of bounds.
Play action. He's going left. Makes the grab and steps out right away. That makes it first and goal. First down. They've got four cracks at it inside the five. It's first and goal. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. False start offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. They give to the tailback. He gets out to about the nine-yard line. From the nine yard line. Second down. Hands it off. And down he goes around the nine yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. Here's the eighth play of the series. The tight end scored that time and with authority. Brad, he's a physical football player, but he's also got the finesse to make a big impact in the passing game. He makes the PAT. An eight-play, 80-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 26. Arkansas is the team that nobody gave a chance today, but they're right where they want to be. I think just the mindset of this football team, they need to be complimented for that because it's easy to come in, be a bit intimidated, be a bit overwhelmed. They've put that to the side, gone out and executed, and I think the longer they've stayed in this game, the more confidence that it's instilled. Make the stop around the 37-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. First and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. That brings up second and one. He's at the 30. They'll bring him down at the 26-yard line. And that's it for quarter number three. Folks, we got a great game on our hands. 21-16, Alabama. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Three down, three down. Three down. He's got it out to his tight end. He's taken down at the 16-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 16-yard line. He makes his way out to about the 6. This guy just made those 10 yards look easy. He 
last tackle at the four. First and goal from the three. Let's see if they can muscle this one in. Back to him, and he gets nothing this time around. This is the eighth play of this drive. Five wide. Throws to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. That throw for six gives him four touchdowns. All the hard work he puts in is finally paying off. It's been rewarded here today with some pretty good throws, leading to some remarkable touchdowns. And he converts the extra point. Kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. Taken down at the 35. From their own 35-yard line. First down. And he's tackled right around the 38-yard line. Scrambling. Runs with it, and he's got room. Ball is loose. Fumble. And they fall on the loose ball. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. From the 47-yard line, second down. Just under three to go in regulation. They get nice yardage on that run. So we'll take a timeout. That's their first of the half. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. For Alabama, they've been bringing the heat, and they've gotten to them on several occasions. This defense has had success getting after the quarterback. They also gotten them to turn it over twice. Well, when this offense does complete a pass, they're not doing that badly. Yeah, the secondary and linebackers aren't able to make a play at the point of catch a lot of times. The guys lining up on defense have really contributed to this two-possession lead. Here comes the offense. No doubt looking to take better care of the ball on this drive. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. Tackle made at the 43-yard line. First 
He wants it all going long. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. Second and ten. Ball on their own 43. Complete. He's got room. He steps out at about the 45. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Steps out of bounds at the 49-yard line. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Fires across the middle. He's at the 40. Defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, but somehow he was able to throw the ball away. From the 37-yard line, second down. Slings it right down to the 30-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Right around the 26-yard line. The Razorbacks use their second timeout. This one's going deep to the end zone. Touchdown, Razorbacks. the fourth quarter and the big question is in a game this close who's going to crack first he splits the uprights with the extra point Looking for the corner. This is where the offense has to come to the forefront. They work all week for situations like this. They've got the lead. They've got a chance to add to it, and that would mean a victory. The halfback with a carry. He's to the 40. He's finally tackled at the 32. Great run by the back there. He could have gone all the way. Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and 10. We have less than a minute to go. Favorite play in football if you're a quarterback. Take a knee. Two tights, two tights. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. And the ball game's over. And our final score in this one, 28-23, Alabama. So that wraps things up for us. 3A Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nestler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.